A new school icon raised by an old school dad. We're talking about RG3 and his father, Robert Griffin II. In an ABC7 exclusive with Leon Harris, RG2 spoke candidly about what he learned raising his son and what other fathers can take from it. When RG3 messes up on the field, his father lets him know it. This is how I know Robert hears me. Mom, he heard you, honey, because he calls her. <laughs> 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 He's a mama's boy. He called his mama. And Robert Griffin II says that he regularly reminds his son of the importance of learning from his mistakes. I scout Robert. If I see something and it becomes consistent, it's a tendency. I tell Robert. As parents, the Griffins say they always put their children first, spending as much time together as a family as they possibly can. So I asked this proud father when he knew his little Robert was a sports freak of nature. I think Robert was 10, and Robert spent and used his left hand like Dr. J did against Kareem and threw the ball up. Underneath. I've done a lot of what Dr. J have done, but never that. <laughs> As a father, it was important to teach and to prove that he could be counted on. Like during RG3's first month at Baylor University, when he lived some five miles away from the practice fields, but didn't have a driver's license. I would drive those 74 miles every morning, pick him up, bring him to practice and his roommate, and when they finished, I would bring them back to their dorm and take off. Later, when Robert was drafted by the Redskins. I say, Robert, remember the rich man? In the Bible, what Jesus said about that rich man, he said, that rich, he said, easy for a camel to go to Ivan than a rich man. I said, remember that. And now, as RG3 prepares to get married and maybe start his own family, RG2 has this advice for his son and other dads out there hoping to raise their own successful children. I would tell them, use their wisdom, all their hard knocks that they went through in their lifetime, those are the things their children should never have to reproduce.